Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again within the Cursed Estate and we previously went out with a few lads and lasses over into, I think it was the Weald, um, to have a look, see what we could get done over there. We might actually be going to the Weald again, because our current town event that we've got going on right now is extra resolve, XP, and damage in the Weald, which um, would be nice to go for, to be honest, and I really, I, I kind of do want to go for it, so let's have a little look-see. we got some master levels here, so we've got a short mission going on that we could go for. Um, we do have the, the hag, which we still aren't going to do yet. Uh, we have this here, the hastily cast stones. All these are level 5, so unfortunately they're going to be uh, pretty uh, pretty difficult for us to get right now, considering. But we could go for this short level 4 mission, um, or we could come over here and try and do some of the missions over over this way in the uh, in the curve. I think we should probably do that actually. Let's uh, let's take on a curve mission, shall we? Uh, we want to be getting people leveled up and stuff, so um, let's go for that. We've still got quite a few level threes, but people are getting there. Uh, so let's first of all take these guys off the roster and see who we want to bring with us. Uh, we definitely want someone that can cure bl uh, bleed and blight. So using the um, the claimants here, Smith and Elise, would actually be pretty nice. I could definitely see them doing well over here. So maybe we bring them along with us and um, we'll try them out. Uh, then having blight with us could be quite nice and maybe we bring Yatsu. Yatsu's actually been to the curve a good few times and performed very well there. So she could be quite good. Uh, I think I think I want Jack up front. Uh, Jack does very well. He, he does extra damage to humans, which obviously isn't going to be here, but I still think he can be really good here. And his repost is very very strong, so I think we should, we could get a lot of work out of Jack here. Um, I'm wondering who else we can bring as our sort of other healer. I really want to bring um, who who is it? I'm thinking of Artemis, but she's actually quite high level right now, so maybe we don't want to bring her. Uh, she's also got bulimic which isn't great um hmm i don't know maybe we do maybe we do bring artemis she she's high level but she could be good and i mean we do need to get some healers up into the level fives we still don't have a lot of level fives up there so maybe we do bring her along uh, as an off healer, and then we need to bring someone else as a damage dealer, so let's grab another level 3. Like I said, Yatsu would be pretty good. Um, she's got good healing, she's got good blight. Uh, I think she'd be able to do quite a lot, so maybe we'll bring her, or do we bring someone like Angela? It depends what sort of mark synergy do we have. Angela works really well with mark synergy, um, so that could be good. So let's have a look here. Um... We have Mark's self, but that's really not going to do it, I don't think. Uh, Victoria's been out recently. She's near level. Or we could bring um, Alur here. Alur hasn't been out in a little while. He can do some good stuff. Um, let's have a look. Debuff. Interesting. Hmm. Do you know what? I think we actually bring Alur here. Um, let's pull him in. Although an odd team, let's just undo all of his movesets. Um, so we, we, we'll, we'll stick with Pulverize as our first move. We've got Lifesteal here, which is going to do bleed, extra bleed per darkness, and Vest's Unholy It's going to debuff for bleed resist, and it's going to heal himself. Um, but I don't think that's really going to be too useful here. Uh, we could go with this. This is a heal that's going to allow us to uh, deal damage to ourselves and heal others, which is pretty good. Um, blaring's the thing that I'm really thinking of because we've got this um, minus accuracy verse marked, and we actually have a bit of the ability to mark ourselves with um, this, the bulwark. So I think that could work out quite nicely. Basically means that Smith and Elise rarely are going to get hit. Then we could go with this here, which is going to be a pull. Minus damage, minus speed, as well as... Yeah, I think that sounds pretty good too. Um, as well as giving us damage and speed ourselves. So it literally steals the damage and speed from them. Uh, then we got Call to the Grave. Um, not great damage, but it does clear corpses. Or we could go with Immobilize Self with a buff. I think we'll go with a Call to the Grave. A bit of a different moveset for him than normal. Um, let's just make sure we can use everything from where we currently are. Yes, we can. Good, good. Uh, let's just check everyone's... Check everyone's things, make sure there's nothing crazy 
annoying here. We've got Loudenham here, so he gets extra stress, uh, but otherwise not too bad. Uh, Artistic's not great, but the claimants are them sort of people you can tell the fans of art, so I'll let them have that one. And Artemis, she doesn't like going out with anyone, but she's going to have to deal with it. It's, it's part of the job, unfortunately. She's getting dragged out once more. Like I said, she probably isn't too happy about that, but what's she gonna do? Right, let's uh, let's just make sure everyone's fully skilled up. It looks like everyone is, actually. Uh, it looks like everyone's fully skilled up. I very rarely use her other skills, so I haven't really changed over anything else uh, in terms of leveling stuff up. Um, I'll check their armor as well, but it looks like everyone's all leveled up anyways. Uh, and then we've actually got some new trinkets and stuff that we can use here. So Artemis, of course, we're going to go with the pure healing uh, on her side. And by the way, the reason I'm bringing Artemis here is she has the ability to cure Blight and Bleed as well as these having the ability. I think that that's going to make for some like a really potent healing combo here as much as we don't need to bring her we don't have any level fives that are healers yet anyway so i'm okay with leveling her up a little bit so let's um let's just go and check on her healing skills here we want to give her um the two most basic ones so we give her this wherever it is hmm, where is it i've i've lost oh here it is okay i hadn't sorted things Let's sort them real quick. There you go. So we give her that. And then we give we give her the Never Virtue one as well. Simply because the debuffs on that thing aren't really that bad. Um, and the stun resist is really nice too. So it really helps. Having stun resist on a healer is actually really important. When we did get a Crimson Court Trinket for these guys here, so... Attack skill will mark self um, and they will buff themselves for extra accuracy while marks and minus crits received while marks. So that's going to be pretty nice. And then we've also got, um, actually, interestingly enough, we could actually go with that with a huge neg negation to cure chance, but massive healing bonuses. But maybe not the best idea. Let's let's have a look what else would work on these guys. I think we could we could go for Blight. On melee attack hit blight. Uh, we're not going to be melee hitting all too much. Unless th does that work on repose? Because if it does, that'd be that'd be quite a bit different. Um, they've got a lot of HP. Let's go with this, shall we? The scouting chance. Then Allure here. He's going to go for straight up damage. I think. What's who's got the highest damage? Jack's actually got the highest damage here. So let's give him the damage trinket. So you can go there. And your crit's relatively high. Uh, both of you have the same crit, so let's just up your damage rather than trying to up your crit. Um, let's have a little look-see here. Can we up your damage easily? Um, we could go with extra damage versus Eldritch. That would work out quite nicely, I think. Um, if we have that one. I don't, if I don't actually think we have that one, do we? Doesn't look like it. Um, hmm. I might go with Quick Draw, you know. He gets to go first. Let's have a look what, what sort of damage this thing does. Plus eight crit mod. Do you know what? I'm going to do that. I don't often go for something like this. But I think going for the Quick Draw there could make this really potent. Because he gets insane crit on his first attack. Uh, and then Allure here. Um... I think for one, we're going to give him this with the 10 prot, minus 20 stress, and the fond healing. And then we're also going to give him this as well. Lowers his dodge some, but his dodge is already low. So, although it's not great, we're out in the curve, so we're going to get really high scouting chance here. This is a medium mission, so I think this will work out quite nicely. Actually, this is a long mission. Uh, even better. I think this is a good, a good set for a long mission. Um... I mean, we could go on the medium. I'm, I'm sort of feeling along the... Uh, let's just make sure of one thing. What's our camping skills like? Um, we'll take off that, put on that. Make sure we've got good camping skills here. Uh, prevents nighttime ambush. We probably want to unlock that if no one else has it. Let's, let's, let's check out this out first, make sure... We might, might already have it on other people. Um, guard duration applied. 20 dodge while marked. 20 prot while guarding. Minus 40 move skill chance. Minus 40 healing skill. 
I think that's decent enough to, to plop on there. Uh, and then Artemis... Okay, so we are going to have to quickly go and buy a skill here. That's fine, though. I'm okay with that. I think it was Allure that had that, wasn't it? Um, yeah, prevent nighttime ambush there. And we'll just quickly make sure that that's selected. So we can take off that for now and put on that. Little bit of extra stress gain from that, but I think that's okay. Yeah, I wasn't planning on going for the long mission to start with, but I think actually this is a, probably a pretty good build to go for a long mission. So let's jump out in here and see what we can get done. Uh, we're just going to take all the food we can. Five shovels. We'll take five of everything else. We'll take one Loudenum to reduce that stress incoming. And we'll go with, like, 30 torches. I think that'll do us. Um, we'll take some Hair of the Sea Dog as well. Just the one for now, just for removing that curse if we end up getting it. Uh, unlikely we'll get it, but I'll bring some nonetheless and let's embark. We do have some diary entries here. Uh, we have one here for uh, by self, um, Unstable Shreve for Chasey Highstake. Um, and she says, I can see that armoured fellow, David. Give me some suggestive looks occasionally. It's not surprising, really. He was always one of the weaker willed ones, and here my charm is quite potent, even on those aware of it. I think I'll toy with him for a while and sap his life away slowly. His mind might not be strong, but his broad body is practically oozing with life energy. I'm sure he'll make a good meal. So it looks like Chasey as Succubus is killing David at Ironclad. Actually going to be killing him, which is pretty interesting. I'm kind of looking forward to seeing that, how that plays out. And also, by sell, we have got an ominous note here. On the town board, a large piece of paper has been stapled over the majority of local news. It says, Repent, sinners, for those of blood will soon be judged. Oof, interesting. Then we also have some diary entries here, written by TEA. I'm going to go through just one of these and go through the other two later. First one's for our banished hunter, Manold. He says, I'm back. I spent a long time in the Abbey, and I'm wondering if the others have worried about me since then. The priests have tried using holy magic to cure me, but I'm unsure it's helped. But I do know that I'm cl um, that the Closier was, godsend was a godsend for me. I sat there for hours at a time, meditating. I feel much less stressed and at peace. I haven't received any treatment at all for my lycanthropy, and yet I, can feel I can't feel the beast at all. And of course, the first sight I see leaving the place is Canis, that woman with the same curse as I, bursting about her slaughter in the wheeled, telling the world of what a monster she is, proudly too. I feel sorry for her, that she copes with this terrible fate by embracing it. It's not the path to take, but there's nothing I can do for her now. Some good news is, Isaac, bless him, found a treatment for that damned curse that I've been hearing about. Thankfully, I did manage to avoid catching it myself. It's safe to say that I'm content now. I'm glad I found this place. I'm glad I found some kind of peace. I'm only scared that it may not last. That is such a such a brilliant diary entry. Thank you for that, T. We'll get into a few more later on. Of rotting fish is almost unbearable. This is quite a long one, but let's go through. Um, what's our actual mission here? Just explore 90% of rooms. That's cool. Uh, we're not going to take any of those right now. I'm not going to be using shovels for anything that we don't need to. This should be a pretty good group, though. We should we should have a pretty a pretty good time here. I'm hoping that Jack can just annihilate an enemy on the first turn with a crit. Um, so let's just try and do that. Unfortunately, no crit, but nonetheless decent. Um, we can uh, can't be guarded. Break guard. I think we do that on you. Because these two can guard. I don't know. Can they guard each other? If they can, that's going to be annoying. Uh, we're going to pulverize you. Nice hit. And I think we go with activating repost. And then marking ourselves. Buffing that prop. There you go. Guard failed. That's great. Hopefully he tries to guard him as well. And it just wastes two of their turns. And there you go. It's straight in with a repost. Nice one. Probably a stun here. No, we resisted it. Nice one, Jack. Ah, uh, they can. Unfortunately, they can. We can still break guard, which is good, but I didn't know that was possible. Okay. Um. Hmm. I'm not sure what's the best course of action here. We could pull... Let's just try and pull you forward. Uh, not pull you forward, sorry. Yeah, debuff you, but it didn't really work. Oh, well. Let's just go with that and finish you off. Right, we'll break guard on you. Nice. Repost. Oh, okay, the repost only lasts one turn. I didn't know that. We'll set up repost here as well, I think. Gives us a block as well. Jack should be able to take these guys out, no problem at all. Um, 
Hmm. I'm gonna do this, clear the body out, does a bit of damage to everyone. Makes everyone hit a bit easier for Jack to hit. Nice. Only three damage there, but he gets constant buffs. Jack just keeps buffing himself up, even if he misses, as you can see. Um, right. What sort of damage can we deal here? We can kill this guy in one hit. Yeah, we did. Nice. Thought that'd be best. Uh, we'll stop you from getting guarded as well. Now, no one can be guarded. Negates a lot of these guys' problems for us. Unfortunately, we don't have the armor piercing we need, but Allure does have some. We took on some bleed there, but again, we can cure that off. Uh, do you know what? I'm just going to do that now. We've not really taken any damage this uh, this battle. But that's... I was going to say that's what's changed, but no, it's not. Okay, these, these guys' is pro is definitely been a problem right now. Um, but we are, we are lowering everything on them slowly but surely. I'm just going to keep doing this while we don't need to heal. Minus 34 dodge is pretty huge for us. He's almost dead now anyways. Barnacle Barrier is still not going to work. This is great because it just wastes their turns. Um, let's finish you off. I think we can finish you off with a Merciless Assault here. Measured Assault, sorry. There you go. I think that has armor piercing as well, so that's even better. Nice hit. I'll take out the bodies on the next turn. Another dodge. This is going really well so far. Um, let's do that again. Pulls him forward. Increases his crits received. Still haven't actually dished out a crit yet, though, which is surprising. Let's check. Does this have uh, armor piercing? It does. Okay, great to know that. Great to know. That's how we're going to be dealing our big damage to these sort of enemies. Another dodge. Wow. And pulverize. Was going to destroy the bodies, but absolutely no need. We pulled him forward enough for it to not be a problem. And we can grab ourselves a little bit of loot out of this right off the bat here. We should be able to get an insane, insane amount of scouting here. Uh, we should see that we pretty much get scouting every room. If I if I remember correctly, let's just have a look. If we go to here. Um, I'm not sure how you see scouting chance while you're in the mission, do you know? Um, I thought you could, but obviously not. Okay, because these guys are inspired, they will do that a lot. When when you have artistic, they basically just touch anything they want. It's kind of a problem, and it's it's not great bringing people that are artistic out with you. Uh, but like I said, it's the claimants. They're they're a bit hoity toity. They're of higher class, so they're going to be trying to find art wherever they can. Make make the make light of a bad situation. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna question it. I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, We've got our first crewmates here. This is why I brought out the uh, hair the sea dog. Uh, hopefully this just crits. There we go. That's exactly why I wanted to bring out Jack with this um, eagle eye talisman on. I like to hit repose here. I think that's going to be best. And let's do that on you. Oh, I resisted both. That's unfortunate. Um, Let's just do that and lower. Let's see if he resists this. He didn't. Good. So now he's got less damage. That's great. Okay, we've got a first big hit here. Brian's probably going to hit us. Nope. Okay. Jack's got really good dodge. Uh, do you know what? Go again. He did resist that. Heal ourselves up here. Unfortunately, we can't lower his pro at all at the minute, but... Hmm. Let's just finish you off. And then we can hopefully slice through you with that armor piercing that we've got here. I'm pretty sure your trinket gives you 15% armor piercing to all enemies, right? I need to check on that. For some reason, we can't open his uh, tab up, and I don't know why. Either way. Back there you go. The Absolute smushed. Ooh, what we get here? Um. Triumphant pride precipitates hmm. Okay. Base, a base amount of extra accuracy also we need to clear some space already. Um, I'm okay with the extra stress, and I'm okay with getting rid of that for now. Do I want this? I mean, I do, but I'm not going to take it because I think our inventory space is too valuable right now. But that's kind of an interesting thing to think about if we get plague on any more people. It's kind of a hard little uh, group of people we've got here. So let's hope that we can get an insta-kill. Um, you're the most problematic, so I'm going to just go for you. And hopefully we can steal that damage from you straight away. Yeah, lowering his damage is the most important part about that. Get that repost going. 
And we're absolutely going to ruin this guy. He re he's... I don't know if it's just, like, really low chance, but he resists that birth, uh, birth battles. We're taking a few slashes here. We've got the healing to go against it, though. He's moved himself to the front. He's buffed his crit a lot, which is problematic, but we're going to lower his dodge a lot. And he's going to resist it all again. No, we're going to bonk him. There you go. Get bonked. <laughs> not having you do that. I'm expecting a crit to come in here. We've not taken too much damage yet, and I'm just... I'm ready for it. Let's do a little bit of uh, hit mate and then heal everyone up. They're up to full. Nice hit. Very nice hit indeed. Finish you off, I guess. Yeah, we're dealing really good damage here. Um, heal you up. Nice dodge. Okay, and then heal you up. Great. Uh, absolutely perfect for healing right there. And luckily, Jack can hit that third spot. Third spot? Third spot. So that works out. Uh, plus five crit, minus one speed. Oh, that's really good. I'll definitely take that. Um, that's that's actually really, really good. Um, we'll go with that. We get uh, plus four speed until camp. I think that's what we just got from that. Yet more scouting that didn't reveal anything new. That's yeah, okay. I don't care about them them searching through things like that because there's no curio use, but there's going to be certain things that have curio uses that they're going to search through and it's going to ruin it. Okay, so we need to get a lure to kill this guy in the back. Um, I'm just going to hope. I was hoping for a crit, but we've, we've not landed a crit on our first turn yet, I don't think. Let's just be careful. Damn, you can't quite get him. Um, damn, that, that that went that went badly. Stun on here could be problematic. There you go. This could be our first bit of difficult combat. Nice, that was perfect. Unfortunately, survived with one HP, but we can hopefully just get through that quite easily. There you go. He's guarding things now. Okay, nice miss. Right. Um, let's break the guard on you. Why not? Okay. Oh, he got vertigo as well. That's not good. God damn, leave him alone. <laughs> Jack doesn't need this. Jack doesn't need this. Okay, at least he's dodging. Finish you off. Heal you up. Get rid of that blight and bleed. Damn shame that can't cure diseases. Give him the bleed straight away again. Just breaking guard on literally everything. It's great. <laughs> Probably going to get stunned here. Yeah, we did. That's okay. I'm just going to use a, a bandage here. I want to check what Vertigo does. Uh, minus 50 move resist. It's annoying, but it's not It's not earth shattering. We can, we can move past that relatively easily. Can't guard him, fool. Uh, we're going to clear corpses here. Needs to be done. Nice. This thing has a lot of health. Really? Really? You will not leave Jack alone, will you, you stupid jellyfish? My god. Nice. Not leave him alone. It's okay, he's gonna keep trying to curl up on this guy, but he can't, so the Slater's really not gonna do all too much. Um We can stress heal with her with her Artemis as well. I've not really sort of touched on that yet, but Whatever. Okay, we did debuff him. That's nice. That, getting rid of that dodge is good. You're landing all your stuns at you today. Oh, not that one, though. Thought it landed it there. There we go. Big crits. Big crits coming in. And we'll just go for the kill here. Another crit. And this should kill if it hits. Indeed it will. Awesome, guys. 
Awesome. We've got some deeds here. Um, indeed, indeed, indeed. Do you know what? I'm going to get rid of bandages just because I doubt we're going to need them with the amount of abilities we have to cure. We're doing really well on cure and stuff. I'm really hoping that we find ourselves a, um, a secret room here that gives us another head trinket because we do have a lot of scouting chance. This should insta-kill or it just won't. Great. Um, I'm going to go for kills here. I'm just going to go straight for kills. Um... There you go. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. <laughs> Getting rid of these dodges is super important. Makes these things way easier to hit like that. Absolute bonked on his head. Awesome. Thank you, Allure. We are marked, so we're going to take more damage from these guys, but that's okay. And crits. That's all right. We can deal with it. Nice hit. Beautiful. Back up to near full. That bite's gonna hurt. Nope, it's not. Um, yeah, let's just do that. Finish him. Nice one, Smith. Keep it going. Keep pushing on. But yeah, I'm expecting. I'm expecting here that we'll find ourselves a nice little uh, secret room. Ooh, okay. We got one of these big boys. Be very careful of the stingrays. They can be quite problematic. Um. Let's just go for the crit. Yes, we hit the crit exactly as we needed to. We're going to probably take on some good stress here, I'd imagine. What sort of dodge do you have? Dodge, you have prop. Hmm. I'm just going to go with that for the crits received. Also pulls you to the front. Makes you a little easier, I think. Um, Because you have prop, let's just go with the merciless assault. Or the, sorry, measured assault. I always call it merciless. Just for that armor piercing and such. And we'll finish you off with a bonk. Great. That went well. Probably going to take some brine here. Maybe take some diseases. A little bit of stress coming in from the stress waves. All in all, we shouldn't be too bad. Brine here is going to be a little problematic. Call of the Deep. Shouldn't matter too much. Get rid of your dodge, especially. You have none now. Uh, again, we're going to go with this for the uh, armor piercing. Measured Assault should kill him instantly. These have very, very little health, but they have um, lots of prop. And there you go. When you crit for 20, Smith just annihilates. Not quite a kill, but they should do it. Awesome. Yeah, this group's stomping at the minute. This expedition at least promises success. Absolutely stomping. Let's get ready for our next scout. No scout there. I think we've got like a scout chance of like 65% or something like that. Unfortunately, we didn't take a trap there. In fact, 12 rounds. I'm going to clear that off. 12 rounds of that is not worth dealing with. Damn. Missing out on some portraits here, but we've, had, we've kind of got most things that we need, so I think it's okay. Okay. Got a battle here. Wasn't expecting that. I have to say, wasn't expecting that. No way. Our first turn and we get that happening. That's so annoying. Okay, he did get debuffed and he can't be protected. This is not great though. Uh, he doesn't have prop. I think we just activate repost here. This is bad. This, this, this might end poorly. Um... I think we take our da we take damage from him. I'll try to at least. There you go. This is bad though. This is not a great group for this. We've got the healing, I realise, but I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna buff repair more. I think. What sort of damage would this do? Not really enough to be to care. <laughs> hmm. And I think we do this as well. Get that block up. This is tough. This is certainly tough. That's the problem. That's going to hurt a lot. But luckily, we a lot of damage there. Lifesteal. He healed up for way more than we hit him for, unfortunately. I'm trying to pull him forward as much as I can. 
Headhunt's the, the major problem, yeah. This is this is it, look. We're going to have to focus more on healing than we are on damage, and that just puts us in a tough position. Minus 66% damage here, that's great. Okay, it feels tough, but it's what we got to do. I'm just going to go straight for damage here. There you go. There you go. That was perfect. If you can crit as well. Okay, no crit, but good damage nonetheless. Head rush is going to hurt. Oh my god. Indeed annihilated. Holy hell, Jack. Oh, the head hunt. It just does so much damage. Of course he crits. Why wouldn't he crit? This is bad. Okay, that's great though. Jack, you beast. You absolute beast. Um, keep debuffing him. Right, first of all, let's just get rid of... Oh, we don't have bandages, fuck. Um, we have to leave that then. Oh, that's a huge heal. Great. We needed that so bad. Hmm. I think we just go for the heal. We need our healers to be to be healthy. As much as I want the damage. We need our healers ready. We don't want to risk it. Okay. Luckily, that's not putting him all the way to the back. Jack can still hit him. And we can even death grip him. That's such a good move, that death grip. Increases his damage by a ton. And just keeps on pummeling him. Nice dodge. That's perfect. Um... Another crit heal. This is going so well. Please don't do anything terrible to me. Okay, not great, but okay. We should be able to kill him this turn. No, don't do it. For God's sake. Just give... Let Jack have a turn. Holy hell, when's this Jack's go? Damn. Really? 3 HP? 53 crit. Bit late, but better late than never, I suppose. My god. Better late than never. Ooh. Okay. Wasn't expecting that, but I'll take it. Um, hmm. What do I drop there? I'm going to drop the busts. Right. You're going to eat a bit. It's going to heal you up nicely. We don't need all that food. That was a little scary. Don't do it for... God's sake. You resisted, thank God. Even more scouting. Good, good. Right, who's got trap to Sam here? Nice one, guys. This has been worrisome. Very worrisome, but that that was that was a fight that looked like it was gonna go a lot worse than it did, but honestly. This attack here, this death grip, is so, so powerful. Not only does it buff yourself, but it massively debuffs the enemy and keeps pulling them forward. I can imagine that being really good on the uh, on the alligator. Or crocodile, whatever it is. Okay, we do have a battle here. I have a crewmate at the back as well. I'd like to take care of him as quickly as possible. Let's just take care of you. Insta-kill on 40 there. Good. When it's a crit as well and it deletes the body, it's even better. Let's pull you forward a bit. Debuff you a bunch. And hopefully get an insta-crit on him. Come on, come on, come on, guys. Come on. Nah, damn it. I'm still going to keep going for him, though. There you go. Probably get stunned by the uh, the dude here. Yeah, I knew it, but at least he didn't stun one of our damage dealers. Or at least key damage dealers. I suppose the claimants are kind of damage dealers, but not in the same sense, really. You miss on that. We'll just um, stop the guarding here. Um, Does it work if I do it on him? No, it doesn't. Okay. That's okay, though. We're going to be focusing on him mainly anyways. <clears throat> That's going to hurt, but he can't bleed, so that's good. Yeah, Allure has insane bleed resist, if you're, if you're wondering. Do that. Yeah, you're not going to bleed him, dude. Stop going for him. Obviously, he's a skeleton, so that's why he has that bleed resist. 75% prot here is, is bumming us out quite a lot. Well 
just lower all of his stats. Get this armor piercing to hopefully get a crit. Damn, we really need a crit from that. That's good damage. I know we need to break the guard on this guy, but he's no longer guarded anyway, so it's not too bad of a problem. There we go. There's the crit. Nice one, Smith. Okay, there's the bleed coming in. We can, we can get that off with Artemis, though, I think. It's bonk you. Artemis should get a turn now. Oh, no. Hmm. Kind of want to stall here. That's okay. That's okay. Oh my god. Really? I can't move? Why can't I move? He has this that does zero damage, so I'll do that. There you go. Should be stalled enough now. Easily dead. Good, good. Hey, you got some more hair at the sea dog as well. We've been gathering that up nicely. Or is it merely a trick, trick of the light? Okay. Still got quite a, while, quite a ways to go here. Still got quite a ways to go. I'm making our way through though. And these guys are just... They're, get, they're getting through it relatively easily. I am still very aware, by the way, that these are all level 3 missions. And as soon as we get into the level 4 ones, things are probably going to take a turn. I'm very aware of that. Okay, kill the bloater dude first. We got the surprise as well, so that's kind of insane for us. Oh, I really wish it got an accuracy up on this. Like, look at that crit chance. God damn it. Um, I'm going to make sure we can't, he can't dodge. Oh, his dodge isn't even that high. We just missed because we missed. We really need to kill him as quickly as possible, though, so I'm going straight for the damage. There you go. Don't want him blowing up. <clears throat> I'd rather spend my entire turn dealing with just him. We've been, like, keeping a, a nice manage on our stress, to be honest. I don't really know how. I don't really know what's been giving us the stress relief we've been getting, but... Really? The back-to-back -back on that? And he got the crit bleed as well, but we can we can wipe that off relatively quickly here. I'm hoping. Oh, nice hit. Glad we're killing him. Nice. One more heal on him, I think, from uh, Clements. Or maybe on him. <laughs> wow, this is bad. Do you know what? I'm going to have to do it on you because you're bleeding as well. Hello, you're going to have to be a big boy. Okay. Stress wave coming in. Nice dodge, guys. There you go. Heal people up. Going to be slower damage, but I'd rather get everyone healed up. And insta-kill on that guy. Helps that out a whole bunch. We're taking a lot of damage here. I'm going to do this because I want to stall out and heal up. Please don't crit. That's already bad enough, to be fair. We stalled out and pretty much broke even. Oh, well. Let's let's bonk him. Right. Um, we'll go to this next room and we'll camp there. I think that should be good enough for camping. Okay, really two of those in a row. Doesn't help us at all. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. Right, scouting again. There's our secret room. Right, let's camp up. Um, right, you've got the He did take on the stress, that's fine though. Uh right. Let's have a look at his other, everyone else's other stuff. Self only, extra melee attacks, um accuracy, crit. One companion. Yeah, we're definitely doing that. Uh, and the companion will go for him. That's like, that, that accuracy is huge for that first turn. Um, extra damage and crit. Do you know what? Let's just go for it. You've got... Mm, that doesn't really matter to us. Extra healing skill, extra stress healing. Minus damage, minus prop. Hmm. Minus 10 
chance party surprise plus 30 that's really good i think that we'll leave it there but jack should be hitting every time on the first turn now for the next four battles at least which should be insane very happy to see that come on clements damn guys not good will find no clemency in this place cure that off really don't have to deal with that debuffs that are that big that last for 12 rounds i know 12 rounds didn't includes corridors i still don't want to deal with it though but yeah jackie should be annihilating things on the first turn ow stun there that's okay Artemis, we, we, didn't, we didn't need her that, that could have hurt really badly. The, those guys tend to crit a lot, but luckily we're okay. Uh, definitely going to just spear through you and make sure you don't get a move. Awesome. And pummel you. Because we've got that armor piercing on the slayers. Caleb's problematic, but we can get rid of that with Artemis. Which is exactly what I'll do now. I want Jack to take care of this jellyfish. There's that spear. Mm, that's not too annoying. Please don't stun me. I need... Yeah, he's stunned. God damn it. I needed that fucking... Brief moment there to get the kill. Kale up, but it doesn't work. That's great. I'm going to have to do that. As much as it doesn't do much. Even... Honestly, these jellyfish want to fuck Jack. Like... I don't know what's going on, but they love him. They absolutely love him. Ow! That's exactly what I was hoping wouldn't happen earlier. Right, you need to stop. We're going to have to do healing here. We can't break that block. Only five healing. Not great. Slate has gone. Good. That block's gone. Okay. Don't even dare. The wounds of war okay, big enough heals. We can kill him. Really? Never. You crit for 41 after all that stuff's happened? I mean, thanks, I guess, but still, it's annoying. Victories mount, so too will resistance. Nice. And we head back this way. Can't believe how many of them curious we found. I wish I just brought all the shovels now. Nice disarm, guys. Thank you for that. Let's give you some food. And you as well. Love the fact that food's healing more because of the uh, town upgrade we got. Hmm. Pretty weird assortment here. We're going to have to do some guard um, removal here. I think I'm just going to go and kill you straight away. Yeah, if we, if we stop guarding on the stress dealer, that's going to be good, I think. And hopefully, alert. Oh, we didn't move alert. Damn. I'm, I, I'm just going to spend my turn and do this. Okay. Bit of stress coming in. Honestly, everyone's been doing okay for stress, though, so I'm all right. Okay, there comes that guard. Ow! Can't bleed him, which is good. It means we don't get any crit bleed on us, but that's still not great. Really? Another turn already? You rolled high then, didn't you? His stress just fucking skyrocketed. There you go, we healed him up to fall, though. That's nice. Um, I'm going to de-stress him. Hmm. I think we just go for you. You're dealing too much stress right now. And... Bring you forward. Good, good. We can start breaking guard here now. Don't hit him again for a crit. Thank you. Didn't even hit him at all. You really, really keep trying to bleed the only thing here that isn't human, don't you? You're really trying so hard to do this, but it just doesn't work. Okay, start using our uh, armor piercing here. Don't know why we got a heal there, but I'll accept it. I need to check what, what that was, what the reason for that heal was. You can guard him, but you're dead, dude. 
Really? Again? You really want to cut this guy, don't you? You want to cut him deep. Nice crit. Right, let me just check something. Why is it that that... I don't know why that healed us. I'm, I'm taking... Not, I wasn't taking issue, but I'm not understanding at all what happened there. I think crits just heal these guys, no matter what, because it happened again. Honestly, these guys are thick. They have no idea that they can't bleed this guy. Doesn't, yeah, it must, it, they must just get heals on crits. Like Victoria does. Interesting. It's good to know. Uh, right. Ooh. Debuff. I'll get rid of that, thank you. Right, move through here. What do we have? Three of these. Do you know what? Let's just take them. Paid for in blood. And we, can, we don't have to go to that room. It's only 90% of rooms, so we don't have to go to that room at all. I don't, think, I don't even think we'll need to camp again here. We've only probably got one more battle before this is uh, this mission's over. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Okay, okay, we got... Please say it's a surprise here. We didn't. Unfortunately, we can't kill him. I was really hoping we could. Hmm. He's going to be a problem. He's going to give us a lot of stress. As long as he doesn't get guarded, should be okay. And it lowers his dodge as well. That's good. There comes that stress. Only one person took it, though. Um, do you know what? I'm just going to pull you forward one. Because the thing is, I haven't really been thinking. We can pull them forward, then use Merciless Assault on someone else. Like that. It's actually a pretty good combo. And then you're going to go down pretty quick. Yeah, I had a feeling that would happen. We should be able to break that guard, though. Accusation coming in. They really hate Allure. I think it's because he's an unholy creation. Oh, we can at the moment. Okay. Just do it on you then, I guess. <clears throat> okay. Um, do you know what? I'm still going to do this. I'm going to do the same combo again. Didn't quite kill you, but it got close. And we'll take you out with a single swipe. Nice one, Jack. Nice hit there. Still got that 25 prop bonus. We should learn a uh, repose here, because he just gets hit constantly. Ooh, got a bit of healing on him there. Uh, wasn't expecting that. Should. I say should, no. We won't kill him on this turn unless we get a crit. Yeah, sadly not. Right, Jack should be able to absolutely annihilate you, I'm hoping. Really, one HP left. They've both got one HP left. Typical. Yeah, you're gone. Of course you get another stress wave in just before you die. Of course you do. Cured that horror of him. Should have done that a while ago, actually. Damn. Didn't realise. I can't actually get him at the minute. We'll stress relieve him. And we'll just mess with assault our body to get it out of the way with. Didn't even get it out of the way with. Great. 43 crit on a body. Thanks, Jack. God damn it, he's going to get another attack in here. That's annoying. And he's going to go after our guy. Oh, no. And we burst dodged it. Awesome. Got a very high dodge team here. And there's that 43 crit once again. Got to get one of those to end off combat. Apparently, that's the way it's got to be. You just got to crit to end off combat. Right, we're going we're gonna to do this now because we've got seven shovels. Of course, we can't do anything with any of them. Really? Okay, that's good. I really didn't want you to touch that. You got hard takedown. What does that do? Hard takedown. Yeah, okay. Actually, that's really good, thinking about it. Hard takedown while marked, and they have this thing that constantly keeps them marked. That's awesome. Okay, nice. Cool, return home to Hamlet. Uh, okay, I'll get into the next few diary ranges here. We've got two more here, but that's been a really good mission thus far. 
And we got ourselves this here as well, which is bleed chance, crit versus bleed chance, bleed amount applied. That might be something that I end up using with um, Dismas, to be fair. That could work quite well with Dismas. And we've got everyone here up to level 4, and even Artemis up to level 5. Cool. Optimist. And the worries. Plus 30 stress. We'll get rid of the worries here. Let's first of all get rid of all of our uh, stuff. Ooh, hello. I mean, he's level 0, but we got um, a new class here. Interesting. A thirst for discovery that could be neither numbed nor sated. While returning from the courtyard, the heroes discovered a pale old man in the bloody vestments of a priest in a clutch, clutching a chalice filled with crimson ether. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so we'll have to look out for a higher level version of that class. Right, first of all, let's just quickly unequip all our trinkets and resort them out. Uh, and then, Jack, I'm going to send you into the treatment ward to get rid of that and hopefully get rid of Vertigo as well. Right, we've got good money here. Let's just check our classes, see who's coming in. Um, nah, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to switch over either of them two. I think we're fine for them, to be honest. Right. And let's check here, see if we've got anything good. So that's the that's the guy that we just uh, that we just saw arrive as a new class. Really want to be checking this out at the minute. So one, now I'm over a hundred thousand. I'm way more willing to buy one of these. I kind of want to not buy one and save up even more money because then the bank kind of gets a bit insane because it just keeps piling on money. Uh, but let's just take a look at what we've got here because it might be something that's really really valuable to us. Honestly, that would be really, really good, because um, if I remember correctly, if we go to our Mana Arms Trinket, it's the shield. Yeah, so on Repost, he can bleed, and then on Hit, he can stun. That would be kind of kind of interesting to see those two work together. Um, have a look. That one's pretty good. It's just a flat-up damage and crit increase. Crusader, that could make him into a very good healer. Cultist. Another man at arms, one here. On attack crit buff party with plus A accuracy. Interesting. What that's insane. Plus 20 damage accuracy and crit versus marked. We've already got one of those. Unfortunately, nothing there that's super, super good that we want right now. The bounty notice is definitely the best one there, I think. Uh, but I'm not going to get that as of yet. Okay, we've got some things to look into here. We've definitely got some things to look into. But, yeah, I'm going to go over the next few two diary entries and then we'll leave off this episode there. First one here is another... These two are both written by T.E.A., by the way. Um, of course, he's written them... He likes to write for this series a lot, and I'm very appreciative of it. It's very, very nice. Uh, but here we go. We've got first one here for our exorcist, Aaron. I saw a new face in town today. They came straight from the stagecoach to the abbey, and my dear friend, and to my dear friend the friar, who frankly has lost his mind. I've caught him babbling incoherently to himself far too often, and he resents um, every one of those warriors and spellcasters and rogues with every fibre, and I don't understand it. The new face was clad in heavy armour, wielding a shield and a mace. A holy warrior, to be sure. Well known, too, by the faces of the town folk. In awe at his presence... Yeah, if the, Sorry. Uh, well, well known, too, of the faces of the town folk in awe at his presence are anything to go by. They shut themselves in there and haven't come out for days. I thought at first I was going to be paranoid. Uh, I was being paranoid. But seeing all the townsfolk giving me these hostile looks and refusing to speak to me or any of the heroes and seeing the friar be so secretive and shutting himself away for so long, I worry. Ooh, there's going to be some interesting stuff happening with the friar quite soon. And the last one here is for Clint the Bounty Hunter. He said, this message was written in haste with a shaky hand. Something strange is in the dirt and in the air. I can feel it. It's almost alive, crying out. I feel like I've gone mad, but it's screaming, I swear. And I know why. I can smell the fires of hell, carried by the blazing torches of twisted men with twisted souls and blood in their teeth. They're coming here, and they will burn us all. Oof. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This was an awesome one. Really enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next one.